Hello! Sorry for the delay, everyone. I was fighting with a right-wing dickhead on Facebook. I know I shouldn't get involved. But still, he was a dickhead. He needed to be addressed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you? Anyone here? Anyone here? I will close that ad. Uh, is that live? That looks live. Mm -hmm. I should wait for a few people to say hello before we kick off. Hello. Ooh, we got some people in. Hello, hello, hello. How do? I'll stop winding up dickheads online now. Hello everybody, how are you? It's so lovely to see you. So we're going to play a bit more uh, Link to the Past Randomised. Hmm. Uh, you may remember if you were here on Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday, I've had a busy week. Um, I'll get into that in a second. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll basically be catching up from where we were last time. So, I'll do the intro. <coughs> Hello, good evening. <laughs> Try that again. The 12 inch remix of that sentence. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Stone Monkey Radio. I am Janiac. Welcome to the thing. Uh, we're going to play some uh, Link to the Past Randomized, uh, catching up from exactly where we were before. Uh, let me get that off. There we go. It's us. Uh, so yeah, it's good. It seems to be working. Everything's still set up from where I did it last week, which is nice. And um, we were at the at the temple. Hang on, need chat open in the background. Uh, we were at the temple. Uh, we just completed the big two, the big tour. Uh, so uh, we've still got two things we can get here. Uh, but I've, I've been playing a bit more in my own playthrough. I, I've been having a bit of a go. Because I find it easier to chat through this when I, I've got a vague idea of what I'm doing in life. Uh, so I'm going to. Um, I, I've been getting ahead a bit. I know roughly where I'm going. And I know it's doable. That's the other thing. Because uh, these aren't always doable, it seems. Uh, n well, not with the sort of my... I was going to say vague knowledge, but like the knowledge I have is what you would have generally playing the game rather than, you know, if you're a speedrunner or, or, or have any of those strats. Oh, rude, rude! Ooh, fairy. Please, thank you! 
Uh, yeah, so we'll head back in. Um, last week we did, I think... What did we do? Where did we get to? We got... Okay, not very far. We got our first... Uh, our, uh, our first crystal. I keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. But we did not go in here. And it's a shame that we didn't. I just realised this is the wrong one. Apparently we didn't go in any of these caves. Uh, we spent a really long time just trying to get the uh, owl. Owl root. Root. Uh, we spent ages just trying to get a lantern so that we could try and get through some of the levels a bit easier. We got that now. Uh, and we can get some shit, get some of that good, good st stop right in your own button, you fool. I was only playing this this morning. Not this one. My own save. But yeah, um, if, if anyone's curious, I can give you the seed. Um, it's an easy Moogle seed. And I've had lots of fun with it. I think this is the first time I've ever played to an almost completionist level uh, for Link to the Past. 20 rupees, not bad. Some bombs. Fire rod! Icy rod. <laughs> <laughs> a hot rod and a cold rod. Not, not a hot rod. Link's hot rod. He's had a bike. Now, check out Link's sweet, sweet ride. Uh, let's go. Not that way. Let's go into this wall, you know. It had, you know, high marks on TripAdvisor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh bye, oh bye, oh bye. Uh, where do we want to go? Uh, we'll head back. To, we'll head towards the desert, I think, because uh, I think we've got enough stuff to do that with reasonable ease now. Now we've got uh, the uh, we've got the hero's bow. We've got the wrong button again. I uh, got the hero's bow. We've got a lamp. We've got something to make fire. Need to get down here actually. And grab whatever isn't a bottle on this run through. Can I get through this way? Do I have to come from below? I cannot recall. You're all very rude. Ooh, who we got? Who we got? Ooh, hello. I don't know me. Um, what's this? Final Fantasy IV randomized. I didn't know they randomized other stuff. That's awesome. Uh, I think that's one I would really struggle with as I've not played really any of the Final Fantasies before seven. Uh, I did briefly dip into whichever one it is that starts with the max. Walking over a hill or something. Is that five? Or three? I know they're all weirdly labelled in the UK. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I've got a bottle. No, I don't! <laughs> Bastard. Six. Thank you! Yes, um, I'm, I'm sure I'd probably be considered also awful, awful trash by proper Final Fantasy fans. I played seven, eight, nine uh, to completion. I played eight to completion several times, and um, played a bit of ten. I, I understand that I'd actually played most of the way through twelve, but I just got bored of it. I wasn't enjoying it enough 
really and then I got to the bit that I knew was okay now it's time to, to grind up before we go and fight the boss uh, like the end of game boss and I just didn't care I was like I don't, I just, you know I don't I don't have time for that now uh, I think 10 was pretty similar as well I started started with it I did did a bit and then I mostly just watched my neighbor play to completion or nearly to completion. I think she was just gathering like uh, I know she just got your your Jimbo when we sort of stopped talking to each other. <laughs> That's anyway. Like a Dalek in the 80s who can't climb stairs. Hey cutie cutie! Yay! It's my Laura. It's my Laura. She's my cutie. And I love her. <laughs> Did you get your noms? Did you have nice dinners? I always get this confused with the Dark World one. I don't know why. I've played a lot of this recently. <laughs> Three different uh, initial attempts to get started. Ah, <laughs> oh, some crimson. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't help it. She's lovely. <laughs> Rude. Right. Did I start on this one last time and then find I couldn't go anywhere? I feel like that's a thing that happened. Yep, that is a thing that happened. Thanks, brain. I should have realised because five out of six things done. Do, do, do. So there we go. That's that's going to be good because we're right near the end. Do I remember where the end is? I've been alone with you inside my nose. Why did you do? So how is everybody doing, friendos? Hmm. <laughs> Aww. What did you get? Did you get nuggets? Is it nuggety junk food? Laura in chaps. Laura's here. Currently at Gamescom. Chatting on the phone. Eating delicious McDonald's. TM. I think it's trademarked that it's delicious. It is not. Delicious is a brand name now. <laughs> Ooh, how am I doing for fairy friends? Two bottles, no fairies. Oh, no net. Uh, that's fine. That's that's absolutely McDandy. Ah, oh, this is so much easier. Eat mace. Thank you. Yeah. Oh god, this is so much easier when I can see. Dance with me, dance! Dance with me, friends! Aww. Well, thanks for coming along, Naomi. It's, uh, yeah, you're saying that, uh, First time you've watched me stream since you discovered Quips. The Queer and Pleasant Strangers. Uh, update on Queer and Pleasant Strangers. Uh, I've been doing... Uh, I've been sorting out what is going to be this week's episode. Uh, with a, a, a few helps from, from Laura. Uh, basically, Laura's been busy with Gamecom stuff. 
and in another country. Uh, I suppose I could just use the bow and arrow. Um, I've been left in charge and unsupervised. Rude. Oh, I'm fucking this right up. There we go. And one for you. Uh, yeah, so this week's quip is going to be a bit different. It's going to be a video. It's going to be entirely skit based. Um, I've spent a lot of time coming up with a. Uh, with a. A, uh, a logo. A brand logo for Electronic Actisoft works. Uh, so. So that was fun. I'm sure you can guess what it is. <laughs> um, I've also been up to playing with puppets a lot. There's lots of stuff involving puppets. And some stuff that I needed to get the Ocarina of Time font to do. Oh yeah, I need to do that to you, don't I? Look into my eye. Do first. An arrow. Which one of you wants to dance? Yep. Oh, and there's lots of tentacles in it because I was involved. I'd like to talk to you about my pointy, pointy thing. <laughs> Thank you, St. Crimson. Roll your tongue around your eyes. As I was told in electrocution lessons. I've had some electrocution lessons. One for you, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you, and more for you. And there we go. That's right, queue up, queue up. I have plenty. <laughs> yes! Significantly better sword! <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> Watch out for my tonguey rolls. Watch out for my tonguey rolls. Hi, Licks, hi, Licks. This is how I do it. You know, cause reasons. Uh, right. We need to get. Ooh, it's a wowzer. Get away. Eat nice. Rude. There's so many rude people. Go away. I just wanted a nugget. Don't make me take my incredible new slashy thing and cut your face off. And maybe you do. It's like, oh, you have a new sword. Let us try it out. Oh, go on. Stab me, please. Very well, generic enemy. Since you asked so very kindly. Uh, do I have the power map? I can't remember. I do. Uh, I could go shaft. Do that one. Um, okay. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll do... Shvum. Leave me alone, I'm waiting for an Uber. Or a similarly uni unionized duck. Dark It's the duck who's not allowed to join the union. Hang on. It's a less good thing. Yeah, has everyone been up to much today? Anything exciting? Overthrown capitalism? And if not, why not? Ooh, 
Ooh, some crimson baking tasty food. What are you making, friend? I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. I feel so silly. I went the wrong way. Right. Let's suck out all the water. Mm, okay. I haven't even grabbed this yet. How bad am I? Meow, 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 meow. Ugh. More hearts. Oh my god, there's just so many hearts. Too many broken hearts in the world. There's too many hearts that have been broken into. Cleft in twain. With my blade. Ooh. Some crimson made. Ooh, shell plaster. Ch shell plaster. That sounds good. That all sounds good. Lots and lots of veggies. I'm especially into that. Not so much the sauce, but definitely, definitely all the other bits. Laura's been doing video games. Deutsche video games. Hello Goblin Plus, how do? This is me getting stabbed. Goblin Plus what exactly? I... is that like half Goblin? Oh, pants cat. I hate that button. Right. That's kind of off. <sighs> I done goofed. Done goofed pretty hard. What's that, Jane? Your dexterity issues are showing. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, tonight's beverage is mostly pims. About it. Not even real pins. Supermarket brand. Kiss and pearl. Still, payday tomorrow. The day of the pay. Fine. Jeez. Oh dear. I'm gonna die. Very, very shortly. I should probably kill those. I don't know. I know I need to remember to go through all of these before I do the floodgates because of things like that. That is an issue specific, Ooh, more specific to the randomizer. Yeah. Water, water. I mean, if you really want to know what Laura's has been looking at, there's always Kotaku.co.uk, where she is Monday to Friday, nine to five. <laughs> lots of, lots of good articles coming out the last couple of days. Pretty gosh darn good looking stuff. Might even get to play some of it. <laughs> I'm just plugging Laura's work. <laughs> Any excuse to support my cutie. Mm -hmm. 
Finally got some health back. <laughs> uh, Laura's just commented, got the laptop uh, to work so I can type properly. And hilariously misspelled type. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny because I'm not laughing at this spelling. I wouldn't because I'm also very bad. Get excited. Got me another key. Doing alright. Right, now, have I gone the right way? I don't know if I have. So yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Laura's saying that it's nice to see a video game that she doesn't have to play. It's It's been a week very much of having to play all the video games. Or in the case of, uh, um, yeah, Cyberpunk. Then uh, getting to control a human being to control your on-screen avatar. Simply beeping. Pants. I pooped it right up. Right. Let's rescue me, Moogle. It's not the best start. I need a freaking net. I'm sure one exists somewhere, but I know not where. What was this room? Oh, it was that thing. I remember now. I guess right now. Maybe. Oh, Jesus. Heebie jeebus. At least all the stuff that I've opened is staying open and I can just hurtle through it to some degree. Maybe I should go in here so if we can get some hell. Help please! I said help please! That's my help. You're rude. Pop up here. Please to be helped. Please, please, thank you. That's very kind. You're too kind. No, I'm several kinds. Right. Ooh, credits. Did I get that? I hope I went and got that. Pretty sure I would have gone and got that. Now it's slightly worried. Right, okay. I'll head back because I'm pretty sure I need it to be blue for later on. I feel like that's a thing. I can't remember why, but I feel like that's a thing I need. <laughs> Avoid any slashing to make the thing do the stab in my face. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got the thing, right? I must have got the thing. <laughs> so, yeah, not going to be a super long stream tonight because I've got a butt ton more editing to do. I've got audio files from Laura that were sent last night. 
Uh, so I need to get the puppets out and act that one. Uh, or, or those two beds. And I've got some ideas that require quite a lot of visual stuff. Uh, lots of extra, like, elements that are going to have to be put together to make it. I don't think it's going to be a very long piece, but it will take quite a while to make, I think. But yeah, so, look forward to the... <laughs> Despite all the work I put in, it's probably only going to work out to about... five, six minutes overall. <laughs> Everyone's okay with that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I've got a thing for you, and I hope you like it. If you don't, I'm sorry. There we go. That was probably what I was thinking of when I knew it needed to be one colour. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. That's going to keep me nice and toasty, she said, probably walking into a thousand more enemies. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm getting stabbed in the back. I hope I'll take slightly less damage. Oh no. Oh, thanks for coming along, Laura. It's been awesome having you, and I hope you have a good evening. And you're not too peopled out from the day. Or I could have just done that, I guess. Right, where the freaky heck am I going? North from the main room, I guess. Seems to be the few places I've not gone. Meow, 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 meow. Hi, Becky! How do? Becky was not eaten by a yeast monster earlier. It's quite handy. At all points in life, one should probably be avoiding being eaten by a large creature. Rapidly expand, expanding it creeps, it crawls, run, don't want, run, no, run, don't walk from the blob. Ow! After all that. Meow, 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 meow. Right, where do we want to go? Yeah, if you, uh, if it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I don't know that. What? Oh. Okay, I thought I had something useful. Uh, I thought I had the patch star. It's not the patch star in this one, is it? It's the staff of Somalia? Something like that. Right, okay. Do I need to pull a tongue in here? Nope. Uh-oh, becky has been doing the run. Heckin' runs. Run, 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 run away. That was not where I wanted to be. becky has been out running. How's that working out for you? I'm still feeling it too hot to be running. It is not the one right now. Yeah, 
Happy to shower on him. Thanks for coming along. Enjoy food. I will try and keep the Moogle death to a minimum. But no promises. Ah, oh, pants. I'm going to have to do the thing again, aren't I? Because I fooked up and went down your own king. Right, last time. That'd be cool for the fan trans for the uh, sort of bonus translation -y bits. If uh, you if you picked a, a Moogle, well, I think they should have done it so that all your text is translated into into Koopas. Damn! Excuse me. I think you will be opening. How rude. What's well, going to open for me, I know. Absolutely appalling. Right. Um. I guess I'll do this. <laughs> uh, Becky's saying. Uh, what is it? Who even needs friends that want to work out? I don't know. Um, sometimes it's fun, but you both really need to feel it. Uh, it, it can be a bit crappy when uh, you feel like you're just being dragged along for the thing. Oh, Thanks! I should treasure it always. Will it be tiny? Bob. Is that a bone here? I think that might be it for. I don't know. I feel like I need to go back some. Go back once again with the ill behaviour. In your face! Freely distributed wall monster thing. Oh, okay. Aha, okay. This is where I was thinking about going back to, so it's good that I got there. More bloody rupees! Got a map though. Okay, so now all I need to do is find and kill the boost. The boost Einstein condensate. Where is the boost? Uh, somewhere in this level. Mm hmm. Okay. I feel like this is the way. I could be wrong. I probably just missed a thing. As is often the way. Uh, I'm here. I want to go north. I was just in here. Did I miss the door? Oh, yeah, of course I did. Of course. How could I forget? Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Becky feeling the red paint from the run. Yep, no, that one. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Why does it all burn? Oh, rude. I want this thing. Right, blue touch paper and retire. We're nearly there. Maybe 
not very... Ooh. I think they're coming to get me. There you go. I made it. Oh, it's this one. It's just as handy that I actually found a hook shot in this. Um, Leon. It would have been real heckin' annoying otherwise. Ow, 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 ow. Thanks, XBit pop up. I completely covered chat. <laughs> While I was trying to focus on something else. Why are you killing his bows? Come on. Mine now. No, it was mine. You can't have it back. Rude. Mine. Good night, friend. <laughs> Thanks, I'm so glad I got that. Yay. <laughs> Becky's saying about having rugby player legs. I too had rugby player legs for years. They're not quite as steady as they used to be. They used to have good rugby player legs and indeed play rugby. It's brilliant because in school no one tackles properly, so you just end up getting tackled around the ankles, dragging small children along behind me. <laughs> it was fun. Um, yeah, I mean, 6 2, like from the age of. I think it was probably like six foot by the age of 13. And then got the other two inches by the time I was 22, something like that. Wow, fun story. That uh, used to be, used to be 6'3". I hunt really badly. And now my spine's fucked and I'm only 6'2". <laughs> it's not because I'm getting old, fuck off. It's generally not. Right. Uh, what to do? Um. Ooh, I could go and do the forest. Let's go to the forest. Ooh, I can go and do blind as well. So that's a khaki rico. Kaka, arika. I'll go that way. I can go and get whatever isn't the uh, ocarina today. No, 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 no! Oh yeah, it doesn't work here anyway. Nah. Foolish. You are rude. Very rude. Customer service is appalling! <laughs> uh, some crimson saying in chat that they always th thought they were six foot, but um, everyone told them they were tall. Uh, turns out they're five and nine and a half, and everyone else is just really short. It's one of those things. Like uh, I was watching something about this recently. Like six foot is the height. Like everyone uh, usually sort of masculine identifying people tend to be like. 
yeah, I'm six foot. Uh, yeah, I'm six foot. And and they very often aren't, because it's they feel like they have to be. I don't know. Masculine energy is a weird thing. <laughs> Hello, Smoogle. Smudgy. Hey, hey, Smudgy. Wah! I wanna know. Can I pet you and play one-handed? Sort of. Hello, friend. <laughs> I wish I was shorter. Like, really short. I'd like to be really, real heckin' short. But sadly, I'm real heckin' tall. Freaking big feet, so. I'll deal with what I got, I guess. It is literally the worst of the problems based on where I started. <laughs> Do I get anything for this? It's just a fun bit of destruction. <laughs> Plus five arrows. Thank you very much. Uh, but he would like to be taller. But then imagines that they would probably want to be shorter thereafter. Uh, yeah. Grass is always greener and all that. Grass is always greener, except sometimes it's astroturf. <laughs> hey, friends! Happy now? Thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Need boy that. Need boy that pal. Thanks. Can't talk to you anymore. Okay, well that's the thing. Ew! Uh, Becky says that bottles are tall and that's probably where they get the envy. Um... But, 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 but... Uh, hang on, where does this go? I should know this. Uh, is it the desert? Or have I got to give this to someone in the desert? I think. The quiet man? I feel like this belongs to the quiet man. Meow, 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 meow. Follow me, thanks, friend. Hmm? Okay. Come follow me, come follow me, come follow me now. Purple chest. Back! Back, you fiends! No, no. Ugh. Come here. Follow me. Not idly sit around while I go running. You are the worst luggage. Right, I think... I think this is where this goes. Okay. And I'll press the wrong button again. There we go. Is this yours? Thanks. I was right. <laughs> Ooh. And she... Uh, right, I was gonna pop to Gagarigo. Apparently I was gonna press the wrong button again! Thanks! I hope it wasn't really dramatic being back here. Near the thing where you were trapped. Flappy dark friend. Everybody needs a flappy duck friend. Hello, Smudge. 
It's Maggie's missing Mummy One. Mummy Two does a feed. <laughs> uh, Becky's asking about the edit uh, for Sunday. Um, so as, as as I briefly mentioned earlier, I I've we there's about five minutes of content so far. I've got a couple of bits uh, ready to go that Laura's given me audio for. Uh, apologies in advance. It was recorded on a phone in a hotel room in Germany, uh, rather than our usual professional recording setup. Um, and, and I'm going to puppeteer that out to go in the video, because it's a video this week, rather than our usual... Uh, rather than our usual um, format. But hopefully people will enjoy. It's very silly. I uh, hope that my brand of humour works for you. <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> Bit nervous. Uh, I've not made anything like this for a while. So, yeah. Hopefully, you like it. And if not, we'll be back to normal very, very soon. Oh, it, it's definitely silly. It's, um. Uh, there's some, some Link cosplay. Um. There's. Um. What can I do without giving you too many spoilers? Uh, yeah, there, there's there's uh, some some cosplay, some uh, falling around. I spent a long time compiling the Electronic Actor Softworks logo out of the four companies that that name comes from. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Uh, we got some tentacles. Natch. Um, we've got. Ooh. Uh, oh, um. <laughs> uh, there's a bit about trans stereotypes that I think is quite funny. <laughs> if nothing else, it's made me laugh, so. <laughs> Hopefully, if you're the kind of person that listens to Quips, you maybe. Already dig my sense of humour. Like, no, we only listen for Laura. <laughs> That's fine. She's awesome. That's why I'm going to marry her. <laughs> yeah, I realise that there being tentacles. <laughs> In a thing is uh, with me involved was probably not super surprising. Where am I going? What am I doing? Why? Sorted that little brief momentary problem out. Just try to get Uh, right. What have I got so far? Okay. Got. Not got a key yet. <laughs> Need the big one to get through there. What about there, there, Wern? Further worn. Oh, that's a bomb wall. Bomb wall. There we go. I will. I will get there eventually. Oh, yeah. I've got bombs, which I think is all I really need for this one. Oh god! Oh, I just realised I struggle with blind. Because I'm bad. Uh, right. I'm gonna need to find the big key, aren't I? Don't 
Die or very sweet. <laughs> and yes, I do do an excellent train in fiancés. Although I'm not selling her. <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> Yeah, I've been practicing my BSL during my spare, my brief, brief spare time over the last few weeks, uh, or last week rather. I was like, ah, oh, this week's going to be so chill, you know, I'll just put a little thing together, it won't take long. It's taken literally all the time. <laughs> It's always weird with making video stuff, like when I used to make Stone Monkey Radio, uh, it was like a few hours of recording, uh, like probably a few more hours of, of generating the uh, necessary artwork for stuff. Hmm. Why can't no get through door? Okay. And then, like, fucking ages editing, and all of that work compiled down to, like, three to ten minutes, I think. I think the longest one was about ten minutes. Uh, that's because I had one really long skit in it. About horoscopes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, YouTube, Maniac Janiac. That me and um, Stone Monkey Radio. It's um, uh, silly. Lots of drug content. <laughs> and then I sort of, uh, I used to do, I used to want to do like a lot more of that stuff. And then I came out as trans, and I hated being on camera. So I stopped, basically. I tried to come up with ideas, I tried to do an animated one. I can't animate for poop. Uh, not like facial stuff. Um, I considered doing it with sock puppets. And I still have my uh, Sally Marifat uh, sock puppet that I made. That's, uh, I made it out of a, a fake hair extension I got in the pound shop. Uh, a sock and some googly eyes. Oh, and I, I think, I don't know if it's still got it, but it used to have a broken balloon in it to use as a tongue. <laughs> it's in my big box of puppets. I listened all the way through the program again today, because it's been coming up a lot recently. Chance for some horror. Bowser. St. Crimson's podcast takes about three hours to edit and about one hour to record. Yeah, I know that feeling. Um, I think my worst one, like, as a podcast to edit was um, uh, Polyarmory because not everyone on that, including myself, had much experience uh... Okay, me and... One other person who wasn't Laura <laughs> didn't have a lot of experience with podcasting, so there was a lot of stuff that needed to be cut out, like vocal ticks and things. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing too major. What this do? Thanks. Haha! <laughs> I'd already left, and now I'm dead. That's what I get for teasing you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Becky's saying that they didn't realise that I wasn't out for SMR. Um, yeah, which is like, I think the... I don't think the first one's available to watch anymore. Um, uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I hit it. To be fair, I was highly intoxicated when I made it. Uh, it was uh, Christmas 2008. I'd been left at home. Uh, on my own again, 
and I knew that if I didn't do something creative to distract myself, I probably wasn't going to be alive by the evening. So, I got making shit. Um, well, I got very intoxicated and then I spent eight hours making the very first Stone Monkey Radio on an LG Renoir. Eight hours edited, put together. Yeah, Renoir actually had surprisingly good editing software. Um, and yeah, I made that. Uh, hi, Nug, Nug, Nug. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. So that was the first one. The second one, I think, is probably the one I was happiest with overall. I think that's the one with Jaffa cakes in the bath. Um, and then the third one, uh, the third one was, I think I just come out, or, or, no, I think I was, like, a week away from coming out, because uh, if, I think that's the one, there's one shot where you can clearly see that I'm wearing nail polish. And uh, I've actually got foundation on in a couple of shots. <laughs> but um, I don't think it was officially out. Oh, and I, um, my very first dress I was wearing in that as well. Uh, I played the part of Lucy Trips for the first time. Uh, I also played, played Tori MP Dickinson Jones in that one. <laughs> and although one of the male characters that I ended up retiring very, very quickly uh, after I came out, uh, I. I thought that was one of my funnier ones. <laughs> Young people, poor people, having a good time. <laughs> we didn't have that in my life. That sort of thing. Um, uh, and Lucy Trips for Stone Monkey Radio. And I... Th uh, so if it was Lucy Trips, it must have also been the... Um, Philip Davis? David Davis? I can't remember what his name was. The Welsh drug manufacturer. My product is 51 times stronger than a cocaine. <laughs> 51 times stronger than ecstasy. Like getting a personal visit from God. What say you? Ooh, it excites. That's much. Ah! A, a, no chlorine. B, please. Whatever that was doing. Uh, oh crap, I need to press the thing. I've started talking about, about about six things again, haven't I? Uh, oh, pants. Smudge, please no clawing me. I love you, but I would rather you didn't stick claws in me. Yeah, Stone Monkey Radio 3, and then I think Stone Monkey Radio 4 starts with uh, me introducing myself as Sally Marifat rather than Steve Marifat. Uh, Stone Monkey Radio's first transgender news reporter. Um, and that, that was me coming out to my <laughs> non-existent YouTube audience. Uh, and then I tried, to, I, or I started writing one, a new Stone Monkey Radio before I went into a, a hospital for surgery. And then, uh, I, um... Foolish. I, w I was convinced that during the three and a half months that I was supposed to be recovering from surgery, I was going to have loads of time to do all the creative stuff that I don't usually get time for because work stuff. And um, I put the the whole thing out, re did the whole script as I'd done it, and and I wasn't ready. I didn't have enough blood in me. Um, I f fluffed lines, uh, but didn't re-record them I just went that that will do I wanted to get something out there and my attitude with Stone Monkey Radio especially like more recently has has been like create the thing like it, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect it doesn't matter if it doesn't look brilliant like just create the thing more than anything else make it 
and if it's if it's not perfect that doesn't matter at least you made the thing uh, rather than worrying about perfection and then never making anything because otherwise you, you can get very self-critical and that can completely destroy all of the creativity and that's super bad uh... oh dear I'm not doing very well again Heck off. Oh, can I? That'll do. Okay, so I have a, a, a hope that I won't completely fuck this up straight away. Health, please. Health, please. Health, please. Health, please. Thank, thanks for all the health. I really appreciate it. This is Blind's Lair, but I haven't found the thing, have I? I suppose it's important to find this first. <gasps> Thanks, Fairy Front! I love you. Well, that's something at least. <laughs> so in Crimson saying the attitude, their the motto is uh, do it and, and worry about how good it is later. I, I try not to even do that, like, because otherwise I just go, it was a thing and I'm not happy with it very often. Um, so they just like try and go, okay, yeah, I did the thing. But I think as long as you're working to improve yourself... That's the important thing. Make thing feel happy. Do a happy. And if you can make yourself laugh all the better. They say it's bad for comedians to joke at uh, that or laugh at their own jokes, but like fuck, if it's not making you laugh. That's why I would say you can fairly judge a comedian based on the material they put out. Because you'd like to think this is the kind of stuff that makes them laugh, so... What kind of person are you that makes the jokes you do? He was not well nurtured for doing creative stuff. Um, yeah, hear that. I want to do art. No art for you. But, but mother, I wish to do the arts. I wish to make things. No. The lag is real. I wish to do the arts. I wish to do the happy things. The things that entertain me. Uh, so that is the boss room. That's all up. Is that down? Can I get there? The lag is real. Um, okay, let's go this way. The lagging. I've got all the dungeon items, so I should be able to get everywhere now. I hope. Ugh. Everyone in chat. Boo. Boo your parents. Boo my parents, too. I mean, you know. <laughs> yet another reason. Um, yeah, like... Uh, I was always told in school, you can't do art, you can't do drama. Uh, you can't do... Um, anything creative. Uh, the school I went to still had BBC Micros until the year I left. About six months before I left they got rid of those. Um, and like IT was the only other thing I cared about and they just didn't have any facilities for it unless I wanted to learn 
basic on a B micro. Ah, well. I don't know where I'm going now. So, I think it's got to be up there. Anyway, do it. Do the creative thing. And then let me know and I will share the thing. Because that's good to do. How rude. Yeah, like you should always encourage artists. Um, I think it was Kevin Smith of all people. Um, or is or at least sort of attributed the quote. And it's about uh, like encourage the artists you know because you never know when that person might make like your new favorite film at some point in the future uh y y i mean sure you could just say oh yeah you'll never make it because you know so many people don't but w what does it hurt to encourage someone because you might get something amazing out of that Do that. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, you skeleton bastard. Skeleton warrior. Um, which way, which way? Let's try this way. See, fun as it would be to get fairies, I don't have the facilitoire. Come on, I just want some health. Oh, there'll probably be some here. Boop, 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 boop. Ow. Ah, well that'll help me somewhat. Hello. Do 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 doop. Yeah, that's it, Nick. You might get the next greatest movie, album, or comic. And I like all of those things, so yes, please. Yeah, you could get the next greatest uh, writer, like yourself or, or Laura. Like, I'm sure that uh, there have been times when not everyone was super into that. What was it? I think um, there's a Facebook page that is also related to some. I think it's a popular game franchise, and, and apparently someone there said something along the lines of she'd never make it as a writer. Um, but, well, Yabu sucks to be you, you bastards. Like, she's, you know, awesome and, and now a professional writer, and hang on, I don't know where that is. I've just killed all of these, so what do? What indeed do? Okay, no idea where that is then. And the other thing is, like, the person doesn't have to be the greatest anything. But like, to put more awesome things out of the world, they don't have to be the best thing. Ow, ow, ow. You're a I don't know if this is doing anything. It seems not. 
Uh, one. That's not really a good start, is it? Oh. There we go. Um, health potions. He's currently trying to make a sewing pattern in the style of the uh, Jimquisition Cappy design. That would be awesome. Apologies, Arlen. Yes, Moogle down. Becky's planning to go out for Halloween as Game Dig's Boogeyman. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, I'm still working on mine. I have uh, one of those morph suits that looks like uh, it's all um, muscle texture. And I'm thinking about wearing that. I've also got a prosthetic that looks like your um, eyes have been scooped out. Um, so I might just wear that. Uh, last year I went as a zombie. I had... Um, I had like a large chunk of my face missing and teeth and stuff. I've also ordered a butt ton of uh, fake eyes to go with the missing eyes in my face thing. And I'm thinking I might like glue them to my hand or something. I forgot to do the thing while I was in there. <laughs> uh, Becky saying I was born to terrify them. Yeah, sometimes you have to terrify people, just like Elon Musk! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no! Rude! Uh, I was like, Nick, I've had the money you would uh, cosplay as an NCR Ranger. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess like the hand eyes thing would would from Pan's Labyrinth, the uh, the Thin Man, or oh, whatever that character's called, the eyeless dude. That sort of that sort of thing, I suppose. But like with with muscles. And the other thing, I don't know if you've seen the, the, the morph suit, uh, or that particular morph suit. It's got weird nipples on it. It's got, it's got no skin, right? But for some reason they've just taken the rest of it, which is quite a cool print, and then just stuck these weird man nipples on the chest. <laughs> it looks really weird. I might see if there's anything I can do to kind of hide that. Maybe with some fake blood. I've got... Somewhere I've got like a litre of fake blood. That I haven't used all of. It's hard to use a whole litre of blood. That's done me for several Halloweens now. It's vegan too. Nom 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 nom. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Uh, and also an excuse. I've got, I've got a friend that's um, really into blood sports. And occasionally, just for a laugh, I'll randomly send him pictures of me just covered in blood, licking my fingers. <laughs> Hello, friend! I have returned. Um, I guess... Let's try that. That does nothing. Wonderful. Okay, that's that's a good start. That's that's a good start. That's the wrong way. Ow. 
Okay, that's two. Yeah. One more. Uh oh. Oh, fuck it. I got through two without any hits, so. Yes! I have to be really careful with red food colouring, as a suggestion. Um, it does taste delicious, but a lot of red food colouring is... Um, uh, is it shellac? It's... Uh, bug... bug husks. Tasty, tasty bug husks. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that is getting ahead in life. Or, or three, apparently. But uh, they still, they fall before my mighty blood. Oh, my mighty blood. Did I? Hang on. <laughs> Just got to check something. Because I'm a goof. Did I get everything in there? That's it. I didn't get everything in there. Where's the other chest? I guess it's down there. That's... Oh, I know. I'm going to take a wild stab and say that that is probably a small key in that room, and that's why I couldn't get it. It's in its own chest. If not, I might find that I'm missing something later on. We'll come back, maybe. If it seems like I'm missing something vital. If I'm, like, right now I've got, like I've got most of the stuff I should need to get through most of the dungeon, dungeons. Oops, sorry, not chicken. Undead chicken. Whatever you are. Yeah, cockchiel. Um, I don't know why I was thinking of shellac. That's something else. Uh, right, let's get in here. Wow, also mod, nice work you've done. I don't know why. So Shellac is the glaze, like nail varnish, and Cochiel is the red, uh, like a cockerel's head. There we go. We have a mimetic now. Sort of. <laughs> no, Becky, I don't think there is any befriending mod, bot mod bodies. Um, grumpy. Just grumpy. Everything is like, mod bots like, nope, nope, nope. Was that racist? No, mod bot. No, it wasn't. It was perfectly reasonable comment. You use words I didn't understand. Are you a Trump supporter, Mod Pot? Is that it? So it was words you didn't understand and were afraid of and modded them out. <gasps> Fairy Frons! Thank you. I love you. Meow, 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 meow. Thanks. Thanks for making it much harder, friends. Okay, dokie do that day. What's going on in here? Oh no! Sky hand waiting on the ceiling! Or even in the sky, no. Bloody hell. That took forever. There's no point in getting those, I guess, so... Anyway, got... got that. Ah! Bye, friend. <laughs> just, a, just a brief visit there. Da -da -da -da. I got the thing.
There we go. I killed all the things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose calling someone a Trump supporter is probably the meanest thing you could say. Uh, but, you know, I question it about Modbot. Modbot is aggressive in weird ways. But they didn't mod the word Nazi recently. I mean, I get we were, we were referring to them in a bad way, but still. Excuse me, I have to grab this. Thanks for the thing! <laughs> yes, Modbot has gotten wise. Modbot knows what's up. <laughs> Modbot disapproves. Maybe Modbot's a... Maybe Modbot's a Daily Mail reader. Just afraid of everything. No! They're talking about Shellac! <laughs> hmm. Oh, I know where I need to go. I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing! So what? A resounding sort of. Well, that is the nature of Melife. Eh? Right. Uh, okay. So I can't go there yet anyway. Whoa, rude! No! 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 Ah! Ha! How about you? Ah, yes. Was it because your word contained the word cock? Like cockerel. Yeah, I suppose it could have been that. I don't mind cock. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Meow, 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 meow. Can't get you open yet, but there we go. I've I've got that ready, ready and waiting for later. So I think now I need to go outside and round to the other bit of the map, and then come back in once I've got the uh, once I've got the big key. Becky says she's a fan of cock. Crimson prefers ass. Noise. I mean, I like squidging them. I like squeezing them. Really? Really gonna make me push this all the way back out? Crimson likes ass. I like ass. Ass is good. Butts are my favourite. Man butt, lady butt. Any butt. Num binary butt. Big butt, small butt. 
Butts are awesome. And, and Laura is producing a whole book of them. Thanks to an awesome artist. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Becky says anything that comes her way. Yeah! That's good. Oh no! Fine. I mean, I was gonna come this way anyway. I'm having trouble keeping up with chat. You bring up cock and suddenly it's all go. Beeps, beeps, a kid. Um, uh, to Arlen. Um, I, 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 I remember the article. I couldn't tell you if it is supposed to be specifically related to that. Um, it's, 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 it's a big book of butts. It's gonna be awesome. And I think that's looking like early next year so far. Which is awesome. Another book. Two books. Two books in two years. Uh, my gal is a writing machine. Not like a typewriter or something. But yeah, and, and Butts is her brand. Branded Butts. Have you tried the Laura K. Buzz Banded Branded Butt? I, I, I have. <laughs> it's a good bug. I still remember uh, going to Laura's practice when she was still at the old... Um, still at the old derby team. I got to go along for that. It was fun. Got to see you doing skates, all the skatings, and um, one of her teammates was like, "She has got a really good ass." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yes, she do." Uh, yes, there was a video game Vaginas, and there was video game Dongs. Uh, I don't remember who was the artist on Vaginas. They were fucking amazing. Um, I think Astrid Johnson did the, uh, the, did the Dongs as a connoisseur of dick. Not going that way. Okay. Now, do I actually need to light these things? Or is it all a cunning ruse? Haha! -ha! In your Facebook. Oh yeah, this this is the lighty one. Die! Right, so... Uh, yeah, the Dongs one... I think that got the the host for... Uh, I'm pretty sure that was an LPVG. The, the web hosting had that and the vaginas taken down at the same time. Uh, I think you might find... A version of it on Laura's Instagram. Uh, or you'd have to ask Astrid if she can dig you out the original wangs. 
because uh, they were quite funny. There you go, yeah, the Imgur version. Uh, yeah, because the host was like, nope, that's pornography. It's like the video game dicks. But uh, yeah, the, the video game Vaginas one was just awesome. I can't remember who the artist was on that. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Oh, God. Auto mod. I mean, I suppose it's fair that auto mod was like, <gasps> you said the V word. No, you bastards. <sighs> right, here we go. This much looks very confused. Oh God, I've overrun this massively. I got very into the game and very into chatting about butts and wangs and all the other good stuff. Butts and wangs, do 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 butts and wangs. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to have to wrap this up in a second. Uh, let me get through this room. Oop. Thank you. I tire of those things. Good, 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 good. Getting some magic. No. My. Thank you. Oh no. I know I can go through there. Is does any of these move? Do any of these move? I can't remember. Well oh, how many of that chest? So I know where the big chest is. The other one will be the other item I haven't got will be the uh, Oh no! I needed that! I mean, that'll do, I guess. Right. Okay. Right. Charm health, and I got the thing, I suppose. Oh, I don't have any freaking magic. Ah, oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, right. Ooh. Silver arrows. Beautiful silver arrows. King. Right. Uh, tell you what, we'll wrap up in a sec. I will run and grab. The other chair, uh, the other chest, before I forget and leave it behind, and then I'll wrap up. Um, it's been super lovely having you. So much so that I completely forgot that I was supposed to be doing an hour of this and then getting on with loads of other stuff I've got to. Do. Uh, yes. Right, 
Uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for coming. It's been lovely having you as always. <laughs> having you. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, there will be whatever it is that um, Queer and Pleasant Strangers is going to be this week will be up uh, at the moment it's five minutes. Hopefully I can get a, a bit more in there for you so you don't feel shortchanged. Um, I just want to make it fun really. I'll do my best. Ah, oh, pants. Um, whatever it is, it will be be here soon, soon for your enjoyment. Um, yeah. And then that's it. I think I think we're gonna have a fairly quiet one this weekend. We've got a friend coming over, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of sitting down and chilling the heckins out. Right. Okay. I had a mystery room, but apparently there's nothing in there. Oh, pants, I can't get out of the way. Uh, no! There we go. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out of here! Ah! Let's... File... Save. Saved. Right. Thank you very much for joining us. Join us again sometime. Oh, bye.